I just want to add a little message. I am not a doctor. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a nurse. I'm not any type of profession out there give you any advice what to do. I'm just, you know, sharing some helpful um, um, ideas on how to protect yourself on the road and how to um, avoid uh, drinking and driving. That's all this video is about. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I'm not a physical therapist. And that's all I wanted to say. This is kind of like a medical disclaimer. Today's date is October the 15th, 2004. And Tuesday is Tuesday. My name is Sunshine and hello. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this video really does help somebody. Hi everybody, my name is Sunshine. And I wanted to give uh, do a video on drinking and driving. Please say no to drinking and driving. My name is Sunshine. I I decided to quit drinking alcohol, not to this, but I'm just giving a little testimony. I've been free of um, drinking alcohol since the beginning of 2003. And um, I'm free of um, alcohol and I don't drink alcohol anymore. And I just wanted to give that testimony. And if I could do it, you could do it too. And I'm not trying to deter anybody from what they want to do. I'm just trying to protect people and give safety um, hazard and be safety mindful and give some help to those that maybe are and maybe um, this will help somebody out there. Here are ways to avoid drinking and driving. Um, get it, See if you can get a designated driver. Choose a non-drinking driver for your group and don't let friends drive drunk after drinking. And number two is call a ride. If you've been drinking, call a taxi or a car sharing service for a ride. Number three, stay the night. If possible, stay the night at that person's house or wherever you are drinking at. If you are visiting a friend or a family member and drinking at their home, ask to stay the night. Number four, take public transportation. If you planning on drinking, Consider using public transportation. Number four is take public transportation. If you plan on drinking, consider using public transportation. Number five is eat and drink responsibly. If you do plan on drinking, eat plenty of food and drink a lot of water. Um, Number six is don't eat or drink while driving. Eating and drinking while driving is distraction and can lead to careless driving. Maintain a safe distance. Keep a safe distance between your vehicle and others, especially if you think another motorist might be impaired or nearby in the air by you. It says, report suspected drunk drivers. If you suspect a drunk driver on the road, call the police and provide the location direction, the vehicle is headed, and the vehicle's make, model, color, and license plate number. And once again, I'm gonna repeat those again. Here are some ways to avoid drinking and driving. Number one, designated a designated driver, Number two, call a ride. Number three, stay the night. Number four, take public transportation. Number five, eat and drink responsibly. Number six, don't eat or drink while driving. Number eight, maintain a safe distance. Number nine, report suspected drunk drivers. Well, that was, it's actually eight, eight things. I'm gonna repeat those again, this is very important. Here are some ways to avoid drinking and driving. Number one, designated driver. Number two, call a ride. Number three, stay the night. Number four, take public transportation. Number five, eat and drink responsibly. Number six, don't eat or drink while driving. Number eight, 
Number seven, maintain a safe distance. Number eight, report suspected drunk drivers. Yes. And what it says about um, designated driver, it says choose a non-drinking driver for your group and don't let friends drive after drinking. Call a ride. If you've been drinking, call a taxi or a car sharing service for a ride. Number three, stay the night. If you are visiting a friend or family member and drinking at their home, ask to stay the night. That's number three. And this is number four. Take public transportation. If you plan on drinking, consider using public transportation. And then it says number five, eat and drink responsibly. If you do plan on drinking, eat plenty of food and drink water and consider sobering up a little bit before you decide to leave. Um, then I'm on, let me see, I'll be getting confused. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm on number seven. Maintain a safe distance. Keep a safe distance between your vehicle and others, especially, especially if you think another motorist might be impaired. And number eight is report suspected drunk drivers. If you suspect a drunk driver on the road, call the police and provide the location and direction. The vehicle is ahead and the vehicle make model, color, and license plate number. My name is Sunshine and I just wanted to do this video on here are some ways to avoid drinking and driving. Like I said, I have a testimony. Um, I've been free of any alcohol since 2003. I don't do any I'm sober so I'll be like a sober designated driver person type so you want to find someone if you're going out somewhere find a designated driver try to have someone you could dial on call if you do get a little drunk and you need a ride home try to keep that in mind and um, stay safe out there don't forget you have don't forget that you have a family to get home to you have a family that needs you and they look up to you and um, like I said, my testimony, I've been sober of alcohol since 2003. Um, the act, the car stuff doesn't have anything to do with why I chose to be sober, but um, I just chose to sober because I was using my thing. I was using alcohol as a coping mechanism when I lost family members. I lost three family members. My mom, my dad, and my sister and I used alcohol as a coping mechanism. And in 2003, the beginning of 2003, I gave up alcohol, and I just wanted to um, give my testimony in this subject and um, give my testimony and hope it helps somebody out there. I hope I help somebody out there. I don't mean to defend anybody, but please think of your family, your loved ones that need you, and um, the people that looked up, look up to you need you, and you are important, you matter, and you, um, you are here for a reason. My name is Sunshine. I hope this message helps somebody out there that's listening. And until the next one, my name is Sunshine. And if you like this type of content, I would love to press like and I love to describe my channel. My name is Sunshine and I just want to say peace, love, and happiness from Sunshine. And until the next video, bye-bye everybody. Be safe out there on those roads and be safe out there. And until, like I said, until the next one, bye-bye. I just want to add a little message. I am not a doctor. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a nurse. I'm not any type of profession out there give you any advice what to do. I'm just, you know, sharing some helpful um, um, ideas on how to protect yourself on the road and how to um, avoid uh, drinking and driving. That's all this video is about. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I'm not a physical therapist. And that's all I wanted to say. This is kind of like a medical disclaimer. Today's date is October the 15th, 2004. And Tuesday is Tuesday. My name is Sunshine. And hello. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope this video really does help somebody. Bye-bye.